All right. Those of you who followed the weekly werewolf reports last year know that I was able to hypnotize myself into liking the first of this trilogy. But you also know why when I look at this book, I also just... Hi there. Hello. Not long time no see. Uh, this video is going to be our closeout video for last year, which as you know, <laughs> by now, at least hopefully, was the year of the werewolf. We're in 2024 now, so it is no longer that, but we still got some business to clean up. So I promised during those weekly werewolf reports that I would compile recommendation lists for both werewolf books and werewolf movies, and I did that. I decided ultimately um, it wasn't going to be the most helpful way to deliver those lists to you through videos, so I just posted them on my website. Um, so go to summercanon.com and click under news and you'll be able to see those two lists. They're, um, they're not comprehensive lists and they are mostly to my taste, but they are more substantive lists than what I usually see. Uh, <laughs> I saw a couple months ago a list put out by rottentomatoes.com that was, you know, werewolf movies you should see and it, that list made me see red. It had Teen Wolf on it, for God's sake. And don't get me wrong, I have a soft spot in my heart for that movie, but that's not what I'm talking about here. We're going purely horror and movies that are about werewolves. They don't just kind of have werewolves in them. So that's why I don't have, like, the Underworld movies aren't on this list, because they have werewolves in them, and werewolves are kind of... Um, meaty characters in those films, but they're not werewolf movies, if you get my meaning. So those lists are over there. Check them out. And the next time you see people saying, hey, what werewolf books do you recommend? What werewolf movies do you recommend? Point them there. I put a year's worth of work into those lists, so share them around. Now, just a quick note. Um, I did mention that these lists are to my taste for the most part, but I did add uh, mostly in the movie section. There are movies in there that I don't necessarily like. Um, I don't enjoy watching them, but I do think if you're a big werewolf fan, it'd be worth your time to watch them, like um, In the Company of Wolves. I, you, I We talked about this in one of the weekly werewolf reports. I don't necessarily like that movie. I think it's boring, um, but the imagery I think is fascinating. And I also added the movie Wolfen. I hate that movie, but in the werewolf oeuvre. I think that's a good one to kind of point people to and then their taste can guide them. So what today's video is going to be is kind of the leftovers. I, since this year is over, I'm not going to be going hard on any sort of theme this year. I'm going to try to whittle down my massive TBR mountain and just kind of take it easy and watch what strikes me at the moment. No themes. But that doesn't mean I'm done with werewolves. That doesn't mean I've suddenly stopped loving werewolves. If anything, I think I love them more now after doing last year. And there are things that I didn't get a chance to get to. So they're in my to be watched and to be read pile. And I wanted to share that with you. There will be more added to this list, but I wanted to share this now because in case <laughs> those long lists that I have over on my website aren't enough for you, we can check these out too. Now, small disclaimer, I haven't had a chance to read or watch these. So even though the internet tells me, oh, this is werewolf themed, I don't know. It could be one of those things where we talked about during the weekly werewolf reports. Sometimes the monster is a metaphor and it's not necessarily a monster movie. It's an existential kind of movie. I don't know, but I'm one, I want to watch them. I want to read them. So I'll share them with you. So let's talk about books first because, hi, I'm an author. We're always going to talk about books first. Um, this book I don't think is out yet, but Kevin J. Kennedy uh, is an, uh, he's an indie author and a small press publisher. And he puts out these great big, like big deal anthologies. And he's going to do a werewolf one. And it'll, it, uh, I think if you look for just KJK Presents Werewolves, you'll be able to find it. Follow um, Kevin J. Kennedy on 
uh, social media and you'll be able to get updates on this, but it looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, next is My Pet Werewolf by James Kane. Then Lucky's Girl by William Holloway. This cover has been mystifying me for months. I am obsessed with this cover. I think it's so gorgeous and so provocative. I really want to see that. Um, where am I? Where Wolves Run by Jason Parent. I, Jason Parent is one of those authors. I really like him. And I just, I don't see him get talked about enough. So I'm really looking forward to this one. Um, Wolf, Wo Wolf World by Terry Grimwood. Creature of the Night by Charles Ray and Jerry Underhill. Return of the Night Creatures by Charles Ray and Jerry Underhill. I guess that's a series, a couple, like a duet or something. I don't know. Um, Transformation by Candace Nola. Candace Nola uh, made the list with the not werewolf, but werebear feature Bishop that I recommended. I, I will still recommend it. Not werewolf, but you should still check it out. Um, Anoka by Shane Hawk. I see this one everywhere. The Red Trilogy by Paul Kane. Blooding Night by Tim Curran. Die the Snow Red by Michael Gesselchen. I hope I said that right. I'm sorry. Um, like in Fallout, Resurgence by Mark Tufo. Hi, cut in me. Uh, this is after I've made the original video and I'm downloading pictures to insert into this video and I have to correct something because I'm a big fat stupid. The book that I call in this list, Like in Fallout Resurgence by Mark Tufo, it's a series. It is a six book series. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so dumb. Six book series um, by Mark Tufo. It's just called um, the Like in Fallout series. So check that out. Sorry. Bye. <laughs> And I know we're going, to, I just wanted you to see the covers, um, get an idea, but these will all be listed in the video description, so this will be easy to get through. Bane County, it's a series by author J.R. Rice. Now, I have a hesitance toward reading series because I get hooked on them, and a series tends to sort of exaggerate my saying of endings are hard. If you write a regular book, if you make a regular movie, that of that singular movie or that singular book endings are hard an ending of a series is a monumental task to land and i honestly have never read a series that the ending has either been fully satisfactory or even finished <laughs> see i've been burned a few too many times by long series that it's pretty obvious by now that they're never going to be finished in the original author's lifetime and i'm a little salty about that not naming names um but the bain county series by J.R. Rice, um it's got uh six books it's book one book two book three book 3.5 book four and book five and uh, it really looks werewolf themed so yeah now these next two i'm not sure I couldn't find reviews that told me one way or the other, but the covers make them look like they might be werewolf books. Um, the Child Eater by Brian G. Barry. That kind of looks like a werewolf, right? And then Man's Best Friend by J. Boot. Uh, that one might, it might be a dog, it might be a werewolf, not sure. So, and then the last one I have here is, um, this one is proof that consistent persistent online marketing works because I see ads for this all the time on social media. Um, um, it's the High More series by Graham Reynolds. It looks like there's only three books to this one. So it looks like it's only a trilogy. Um, and this one was also has been recommended to me in the comment section of the various uh, Weekly Werewolf reports. So that's one to I'm probably definitely, definitely going to get that one because I can handle a trilogy for the most part. With, with the one at the beginning that I <laughs> posted that little snippet about. Okay. And then movies. There's not as many uh, movies that I've gotten pointed out to me, but it obviously message me and point them out to me as they come across your desk because obviously I want to know about them. So movies. Um, Blackout. This is a Larry Fessenden movie. Um, if you don't know who Larry Fessenden is, he does kind of, um, they're, 
they're kind of indie, but they're not low, low budget. They're good horror movies, thriller horror movies. Um, but Blackout Werewolf movie, definitely want to see it. The next is a movie called Full Eclipse. This one isn't new. It's a 1993 movie. Um, R.C. Matheson, Richard Matheson, is uh, credited as one of the writers on this. So why have I not seen this? Why am I not seeing people talk about this? Full Eclipse. Um, the next one is a one called Overtime. <laughs> and I'm saving this one actually until probably tonight. This is a YouTube short. You can find it. It looks like it's going to be funny and lighthearted, but it features werewolves, so have at it. And then the last movie is Werewolf Santa. Um, I looked for this one, and at the time I looked for it, I couldn't find it streaming anywhere. So maybe next year, maybe... But who would have thought that werewolf slash Christmas movies would be right up my alley, but it turns out it is. I gotta tell you, I didn't think that um, Santa Jaws would be a movie that I would watch every year, but you know what? I do. I watch Santa Jaws with my kids every year, and that movie gets funnier every time I watch it. <laughs> so that'll be it. That is it. We are closing out the year of the werewolf. I hope I've given you some stuff to look into, some books to read, some movies to watch, because werewolves are kind of a, a a peripheral subject in horror. They have their moments where it heats up, and then it kind of dies down because it, it it's you can't make a great werewolf movie on a cheap budget. You just can't. And I watched some good ones with a cheap budget. You know, you have to overlook some things. You have to be forgiving of that small budget. But if you're really going to do a werewolf movie up, it, you have to have that effects budget. And some places just don't. Some some studios don't want to put, put out the money for a werewolf movie because sometimes they don't do great. Sometimes they are garbage. And that's a shame. But that movie list, um, I think it has 49 entries on it. I could have added another one to make it an even 50, but <laughs> I'm feeling contrary. I can't help myself. So that that's it. That's the end of the year of the werewolf. Um, as for this channel, I will not be posting regularly. I don't have anything to talk about. If I have any news, like there will be a couple of um, announcements for me as, you know, summer canon author that I'll talk about. But other than that, if I, I don't really have anything to talk about, if you have anything you want to share, if you have anything you'd like me to talk about, reach out through social media, reach out through here, leave a message on one of these videos and I'll find it. But other than that, it's going to be quiet here. Um, this, was a fun year. Like I said, I really enjoyed looking at all the werewolf stuff, but the, you know, it was time consuming. Even making these videos right now, we're at, you know, a little over 12 minutes. This will still take me over an hour to put it together and edit it and render it. And then even more time for it to upload to YouTube. This is time consuming. And sometimes it's just not worth the time to get, you know, 15 views on a video that it took me several hours to put together. So, yeah, <laughs> we won't be doing that anymore. But if you have any requests, I would love to honor them. I would love to talk about things. And that, honestly, is it. So, thank you to those of you who were here for the weekly World Reports. It means more to me than I can say that you watched all those stupid videos, watched me cackling, and put up with my eternal hatred of the Howling Trilogy, even though I did learn to love the first book. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. And I'm around if you want to find me. I'll be around. So bye.